Configuration Backup Management. That's a critical task that we need to be aware of when working with network devices. Because we have invested a lot of time adding the configuration to those devices, and also we need to keep those files ready if there is any issue with the hardware or the operating system. So RouterOS has two different ways to configure backups. We can get two different types of files. The first one is a binary file, and the second one is a plain text file. We can store the binary files locally in every device, or we can use a free service provided by Myrotic that is called the Cloud Backup. That basically is going to send the backup file to the Myrotic's uh, cloud, and then we can retrieve that value in the future if we need that file. In this class, we'll explore how to uh, store those files locally in our device. In our very next class, we are going to go with the cloud option. If we need to uh, store those files outside of our network. So as I mentioned, there are two different files, binary and plain text. Binary is going to use the command system backup save, or we can use the file menu in our device. That file can be encrypted, so that means that we can define a password, and then all the content will be encrypted, and we need that uh, password or key to be able to read the file again. The binary backup is intended to be used on the same device. For example, you have your router and you are testing a new technology or you are configuring a new protocol, for example. You can create a backup, then you can make changes to the device, and then you can have some kind of snapshots of the previous configuration, then you can go back to that configuration if you require that. If you need to move that binary configuration to a different device, that can bring a lot of headaches because it's not created to do that. The intention is to use the binary backup in the same device. But if for any reason you have to move that configuration to a different file, then that file is going to have embedded all the MAC addresses from the interfaces, and then you will need to go interface by interface, uh, resetting all the MAC addresses to the original value. So that's the binary backup. Let's go here to the Winbox and let's see how that looks like. Now I am here in Arc1. This is one of the routers that we have on GNS3. I'm using the same topology than the previous class. So this is Arc1. If I go to the Files menu, you can see here that we have this option, Backup. If I click in that Backup option, this is simply going to ask for a name and for a password if we want to encrypt that file. If we don't use those values, the operating system is going to set a default name that is going to be the system identity plus the date. For example, if I don't type anything here and I just click on backup, this is going to create a file. But you can see here that we have R1 dash and then 2023 0107. That's basically the date. And then we have the time. The extension for that file is dot backup. If I go back and I create a new backup, now I can say my first binary backup. And then I will set a password to encrypt that file. Even we have the option to pick the algorithm to use for encryption. So I'm going to keep a yes. And I will say backup. And now we have that file with my custom name. Additionally, I must remember the key because if I forget the key, then I won't be able to use that backup anymore. So this is how we create a binary file. If I download that file to my local system, then I go to my directory. So here we can see that we have the backup file. If I try to open that file in a text editor, like Notepad, for example, you will see that that file is going to be unreadable. So I will go here, open with, I will pick uh, Notepad. If we see the content of the file, it's basic binary content. So we are not able to read the file. It's unreadable. And additionally, it's also encrypted because we have set an encryption key. If I go to the router, so let's say that I'm going to add an IP address. So to do that, I will simply go to IP, then addresses. I will add a new entry. And I will say 1.2.3.4 slash 24. And I will click OK. So now I have made a change here in my configuration. If I want to go back to the previous configuration, I can simply restore that file. 
once that file is stored in the file system, we can simply pick the backup that we want to restore. And then we're going to go to this button here, restore. I will go with the version that has a password. If I click on restore and I type the password and then restore. This is asking if we're sure that we want to restore the configuration. If yes, it's also going to reboot that device. So I click yes. Now the router is going to load that configuration and it's also going to reboot the system. I will wait a few seconds for this router to be back again and then we'll go with the second type of configuration backup. Now we're back in the router, the configuration backup has been applied. If I go to IP addresses, we can see that there is no IP anymore because we went to the point just before adding the IP address. If I go to file, you can see that the files are uh, still there. So this is how binary backup is going to work. It's intended to be used on the same device. Let's analyze the second type of backup. And there is the plain text. So this is going to be created by using the command export file equals to the file name. Something important about this type of backup is that we can create a complete backup that means that we can include all the configuration of the router or we can have a partial backup. That means that we can simply, for example, create a backup of the firewall configuration or we can create a backup of the IP addresses or just a specific area of the configuration. Don't worry, you don't understand how to configure a device at this point. We are just in the introduction to MyRotic. Once we get familiar with all the different features in RouterOS, you will understand better how to identify those sections and how to create backups for a specific set of configuration. So for now, the important point for this plain text backup is that we use the command line by using the command export file equals file name that is going to create a script, a text file that we can read by default that is not going to include passwords. So if we have usernames, passwords, or we, ca we have VPNs with passwords, that information won't be stored in the file. There is an option to put that sensitive information in the file as well. So we'll explore how to do that. But by default, that information is not going to be included in that configuration backup. So let's see how to create uh, that file here in this device. So if I go to the terminal, so I will look for the terminal. I will set a new password for this device. To clear the terminal, I can simply press Control L. Now I have a blank terminal. So let's say that I want to create a plain text backup of this device. So to that, we simply need to type the command export and then the file name. This is going to be my first plain text backup. And then I will press enter. That is going to go over the configuration of the router and it's going to put all that output into a text file with that name. If now I go to files, you can see here that we have that file that has been created and the extension is .rsc. This is a plain text file. If I download that file, so I will go here to desktop, I will download that file, and if I check that directory, you can see here that now I have my first plain text backup .rsc. If I double click on that file, now this is simply a script. So you can see that we have a lot of commands in that file, that basically are including the configuration in that device. So obviously now this file is pretty short because we don't have configuration in the router, just some default commands that have been pre-configured by MyRotic. But this is the idea with the plain text configuration. For example, let's say that I want to create a partial configuration, only a section of the device. I'm going to add an IP address by going to IP, addresses, I will include a new IP. I will say 1.2.3.4 slash 24. And I will add that to the interface Ether1. I can simply click OK. And now, if I only want to get the configuration for IP addresses, I can go to the terminal again. 
I will type the username, the password, I will clear with control L and I will say IP address will have a special class just for the CLI but basically if you see the main menu IP and then the second section is addresses we can simply type that on the terminal and now we are in the main menu and then the sub menu also we can use uh, tab to get the contextual help but now if we are in this level and I use the command export file I will say IP information and press enter this is going to create the script based only on the commands that belong to that specific section IP addresses now if I check uh, files you can see that I have this file here ip-information.rsc if I download that to my PC and I check that file we have that one here if I double click that there is only one command the IP that I just added into that configuration so now we don't see all the configuration in the device we can simply get that command that section in this case everything under IP address this is the difference between the binary and plain text with binary we are always gonna get the full configuration with plain text we can get the full configuration or just a section of it additionally the plain text configuration is not going to include information such as the passwords for example if I come here and I add a new user so let's say that I'm going to system then I will go to users so here is where we have all the users of the router the one that can manage the router so if I add a new user so let's say this is going to be user02 I will set a password and I will click OK so now I have a password in that user I will create a backup file and I will say export file second backup and I will press enter so now we have this second backup file plain text I will download the file to my PC and now if we check that file let's look for the user that I just created so if I go back you can see that there is no user information so you can see that there is no user information because that information is not included in the plain text backup so let's see what happens if we create a backup using the binary version so now I have a user user02 so I'm going to create a binary backup so I will say backup 02 with user2 and I will say backup so now we have this backup here I will go to system users I will remove that user and let's see if that binary backup has that user on the configuration so now I will simply go to files to that backup and I will restore that configuration the router is going to reboot it's going to load the binary backup and let's see if after applying that backup we have the user 02 again we are back on the router if I go to system and then users you can see that now we have the user 02 created in my local user database so remember the binary backups will include the user information the RSC backups or plain text won't so that's quite important when working with configuration management in our next class we'll explore how to send those files to the MyRotix cloud that's a service provided for free. Thank you, and I see you in the next one.